Presenting That Putin Show, the day-to-day -day life of a normal but zany guy who just happens to run the Kremlin. <laughs> Starring Vlad, his secret American wife, Trophy, his rude and bossy maid, Doris, his dog, Tucker, and the ghost of his mother, Ten green oligarchs standing near a window. <laughs> oh, Vlad, you wake me up again. So what? And if one green oligarch should accidentally be pushed, let me make it up to you. I promise to stop singing, turn over, and instantly fall asleep once satisfied. Well. Oh, Oh, my trophy piece! No, you are not doing this stuff while I am haunting you! Not now, mother! Blood! Oh, shut, oh, shut up, up, you gold-digging gold bitch. bitch! Mother, calm down! Be more like the United Nations! Oh, what? what? You mean five, five minutes, minutes on the naughty, naughty chair? chair? As if that, that ever worked! There! I am sleeping in another room, on my own bed! Not with you or your mother! You see that? The first sign of disagreement, and she can't go. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. There'll be nine green oligarchs standing on the wall. Pew, pew! Boom, boom! Should I blow up that building? I will ask General Prosgonzion figure. Fuck you! Who said that? As this figure comes with real voice, I put his model in front of building. Okay, fire cannon at a terrorist building. Pew pew, roar! <coughs> School blown up. Any students left? With the pot, adopt, and brainwash. Ha <laughs> ha! Brad, you're playing war games again? No! How many times I say? It is special military operations, scale model, realistic battlefield. Toy soldiers. Yet. They are military models. Vlad, we need to talk. Okay, then talk. How long since your mother accidentally died? Oh, many years. I told her not to pick those mushrooms. I thought it was gastric flux from tea. If you say so. Vlad, you are being visited by many ghosts beside your mother lately. Am I? News to me. Last night, I was kept awake by you talking to your mother. Was I? Can't remember. Talking in my sleep. Yesterday, you had an argument with 30 dead generals. I think you are hearing things. Are you drinking again? Maybe you'll need some help. Okay, Vlad. Well, I'm out shopping and booking to see a doctor. Yes, you need this. You're hearing imagining things. She hearing things. Woo! Wawa! Not job, maybe. Who is in my hotline? Prokosian? You're dead! Fuck you! He hung up! Back to cleaning, Pete! Oh, yes, Taurus! Sorry, Taurus! Oh, I love this put on abuse. I will take it out on former friend later. Clean out the closet, or I'll not whack you! Okay, I open closet. Prokosian said, Fuck you! It is clean! There's also the coat cupboard with all the skeletons of dead generals. Okay! Fuck you! He holds me more than my mother, but I can admit this to no one. So, why have you asked for help? I love my man so much, but he drives me mad. He keeps talking to his dead mother, and now he keeps seeing dead generals. And you're the one asking for help? Yes, typical narcissist. He assures me he is perfect. And it is me who can't handle his perfection. I think I need to see you both to help. Mm, he won't allow it. By the way, I'm also a medium. I see your angle. Maybe you will listen to a medium. At dinner time. So, join hands and let the glass move on its own. This bullshit. Is there anyone there to talk to us? I am calling for the generals, scientists and oligarchs who have... Accidentally died. See, Vlad. This quack is Neto Stooge with recording of voices. 
I know tape. Fuck you. There is a strong presence here from one in particular. Let me guess. Fuck you. Hello, Yagini. Fuck you. Let me explain. I ordered one deployment. Fuck you. They used to be friends. I would give anything to try to make up, just to touch hands again. Dad! Well, I can facilitate that. I can feel him behind me as I play with my pottery wheel. His pottery wheel doesn't spin that tall for me. Oh, Yagini, I am almost sorry, but you did attack me. Fuck you. Oh, Yav. Fuck you. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that is how he used to touch me. What? Quiet! You'll break the trance. All right, all right, knock it off. I'm not having my darling little boy be westernized by that woke BTLEG stuff. Especially not with such an ugly, horrible, pig-faced ghost. He has a message for you, also. Oh, really? What is it? Fuck you, also. Oh, you're even worse than this gold-digging slapper of a secret wife. Oh, thank you. Too kind. There is a way we can resolve this. Vlad, your father is here. Oh no! Please, not my father! But this is not your father. This is your real father. What? Stalin? My father? Ha, I can explain. It was dark in the party member air raid shelter. No, no! I am so proud! So much more than that horrible, violent abuse merchant you married. Fuck you! It is not Stalin. It is Prigozhin again. Fuck you! Okay, Shrink, we have enough of you. But these voices will haunt you forever! Give forever! Give. No, no, no! Blood! Ah! Blood! Blood! Wake up! Wake you! You're having nightmare again! You mean it was all a dream? Yes, there are no ghosts talking to you. Phone call from the front, quick! Hello? Fuck you! Vlad, there is a dead weird looking shrink in my potato cupboard, impounded by a crystal ball. I can explain. Too late to escape punishment. Phew, I was worried for a minute. What is tonight's behavior modification or personal perestroika <laughs> for me? The rack. Finally, I work my way up to this. No longer five foot six little guy. You're gonna be seven foot tall when I'm finished with you. Then I play basketball for propaganda films. Right! All tied up. Oh! Oh, I hurt! But now I am big man. Can you stretch other things also? Ah, oh, shut up, you dirty mind little tyrant with a little slug. Oh! That comment hurt more than a wreck, but good! Turning it up to snap your muscles. Whoa, whoa. Damn, we have to stop. Phone call from the front. Oh, phew. Hello? Fuck you. Ah, off to bed. See you in the morning, little man. So, what will my little piece of shit disappointing son do next? Stay tuned. Join us next time when Vlad faces even more challenges with zany results. Who will he kill? How will they die? And what hilarious events will eventuate? Find out in the next episode of That Putin Show. Vlad and his family are dressed by the best and most expensive fashion shops in London, Milan and Paris. Until next time... Jumping out a window